Hi, I'm Colin. Today we're going to be talking about the P4000 and P6000 electric heaters that Heatwagon offers. These are 480 volt, three phase heaters. We're going to look at setting up this heater for operation. We're going to be removing the cover, taking our 480 three phase and attaching it to the terminal block. Here we can see that we have our 480 running into the input terminal block. The terminal block has hold downs for each individual lead coming in. Your ground will then go to this ground block here. When installing your 480 to the terminal block and firing up, if the heater is blowing air out of the intake of the heater, you need to reverse your two hot leads. If you do not, that will cause a problem with the heater and you need to repair it. Next, we're going to be talking about internal components under the hood. This is your input power terminal block. This is your 480 three phase to 24 volt AC transformer. This is your C1 relay. This is your first stage heating relay. C2 relay is your second stage heating relay. C3 is your third stage heating relay. And C4 is your fan relay. This is your output temperature. The output temperature on this dial is measured in Celsius. The output for this heater is 100 degrees Fahrenheit. You will want to set this at 50 degrees Celsius to hone it in on that um, ideal output temperature. Next, we're gonna be discussing the other components that are not easily seen on this heater. You're going to take your handle off, which we've already done. You're going to then take all of your T-style screws out of all the spots, lift up and remove the shield. Here we can now see the internal workings of everything. Starting from the back here, this is our ambient temperature thermostat. Moving forward now, we have our over temp limit. We have our cool down thermostat. And up front here, tucked back in, we can see our output thermostat. Next under the hood here, these are all of your coils. This is your first stage bank of coils. This is controlled by C1 under the hood. This is your second stage bank of coils. This is controlled by C2. And this is your third stage bank of coils, which is C3. Next, we're going to be ohming one of the coils. You need to remove one side of the coil off from the male prongs. Turn your voltmeter to ohms. Take one end on one side, one end on the other. As we can see, we have 56.8 ohms. Generally, you're gonna be around in the 54 to 56 range ohms for a P6000. P4000s, you will see 85 ohms. This applies to every coil in this unit. Remember that you do need to test each coil individually. At this point, we're going to test our over temp sensor and our cool down sensor for continuity. Turn your voltmeter to continuity. Put your leads together to listen for the sound. That is correct. Correct.